Wait, don't click away just yet. I've got some insider information that you absolutely need to hear. Remember those $2,000 stimulus checks we just talked about? Well, word on the street is that there might be a second round coming, and this time, the amount could be even bigger. I'm talking potentially life-changing money here, folks. But here's the catch. The eligibility requirements could be completely different this time around. Want to know if you'll qualify and how much you might get? Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell, because in my next video, I'm breaking down all the details of this potential new stimulus package. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. Your financial future could depend on it. Stay tuned. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. All right, let's cut to the chase. The news we've all been waiting for is finally here. The Internal Revenue Service has just confirmed the exact dates for sending out the new round of $2,000 stimulus checks. This is not a drill, folks. This is real, and it's happening soon. Now, I know what you're thinking. Another stimulus check? Is this for real? Well, let me tell you, it's as real as it gets. After months of negotiations, debates, and back and forth in Washington, a new economic relief package has been approved, and it includes direct payments to eligible Americans. Let's take a quick look at how we got here. Over the past few months, we've seen intense discussions in Congress about the need for additional economic support. With rising inflation, ongoing economic challenges, and the lingering effects of the pandemic, lawmakers from both sides of the aisle recognized the need for further action. The breakthrough came last week when a bipartisan group of senators introduced the American Economic Recovery and Stability Act. This comprehensive package includes various measures aimed at boosting the economy and providing relief to struggling families. And yes, you guessed it, the $2,000 stimulus checks are a centerpiece of this legislation. Now, I know you're probably wondering, how can I make sure I get my payment as soon as possible? Well, the best way is to ensure that the IRS has your current bank information. If you filed your 2023 taxes and provided direct deposit information, you're all set. If not, the IRS is reopening the Get My Payment tool on their website starting next week, allowing you to update your information. Let me show you how to use this tool. Simply go to irs.gov, click on the Get My Payment button, and follow the prompts. You'll need to enter some basic information like your social security number, date of birth, and address. Once you're in, you can check your payment status and provide or update your bank details. But wait, there's more. This package isn't just about stimulus checks. There's another major development that's going to impact millions of Americans who rely on Social Security benefits. That's right, you heard it here first Supplemental Security Income, SSI and Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI benefits are getting a significant boost. This is huge news for those who depend on these programs for their daily needs. Let's break down what this means. SSI increase. The maximum federal SSI payment for an individual will increase from $914 to $1,000 per month. SSDI boost. SSDI recipients will see an average increase of 8.7% in their monthly benefits. Effective date. These increases will take effect starting with the September 2024 payments. Now, you might be wondering why the sudden increase. Well, it's not so sudden. This boost is a response to the rising cost of living and inflation that we've all been experiencing. The Social Security Administration recognizes that beneficiaries need more support to keep up with these increasing expenses. As you can see from this graph, inflation has been on the rise affecting everything from groceries to housing costs. This benefit increase aims to help SSI and SSDI recipients maintain their purchasing power and quality of life. But here's something important to note. This increase is separate from the annual cost of living adjustment, COLA, that typically happens in January. That means recipients could potentially see another increase at the beginning of next year, depending on inflation rates. First, 
let's talk about the stimulus checks. Just like previous rounds, these $2,000 payments are not considered taxable income. You won't owe taxes on this money, and it won't affect your tax refund for the 2024 tax year. However, the situation is a bit different for the SSI and SSDI benefit increases. These additional amounts are considered part of your regular benefits, which means they could potentially impact your tax situation. Here's what you need to know. SSI benefits are generally not taxable, so the increase shouldn't affect your taxes. SSDI benefits, on the other hand, can be taxable if your total income exceeds certain thresholds. If you're concerned about how these changes might affect your tax situation, it's always a good idea to consult with a tax professional or use reputable tax software to help you navigate these waters. Before we wrap up, I want to address something important. I know that for many of you, this news comes as a huge relief. The past few years have been challenging and every bit of financial support can make a big difference. However, it's crucial to remember that these are temporary measures. While they provide much needed assistance, it's always wise to think long-term about your financial health. Remember, everyone's situation is unique, so what works best for you might be different from someone else. The key is to think carefully about how to use these funds in a way that provides the most benefit for you and your family in both the short and long term. Now, I know we've covered a lot of information today, and you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed. That's totally normal. These are significant changes that can have a real impact on your life. If you're feeling unsure or have questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the Social Security Administration or the IRS. They have resources available to help you understand how these changes affect you personally. And of course, if you have any questions or thoughts about what we've discussed today, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you and learning about your experiences. Before we go, I want to remind you that the situation around economic relief measures and benefit adjustments can change quickly. While the information I've shared today is current and confirmed, it's always a good idea to stay informed. I'll be keeping a close eye on any developments and will update you as soon as any new information becomes available. Alright, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this information helpful and that it brings some clarity to these important developments. If you did find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more updates on financial news and tips. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your finances. Stay informed, stay proactive, and most importantly, stay hopeful. Better days are ahead. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.